This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account. So we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I am a black man who didn't know enough about my own history. So I began to dig deeper and do my own research. Black history is American history. So I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe to Teaching Black History. The story of George Franklin Grant. Grant was born on September 15, 1846, in Oswego, New York, to Phyllis Pitt and Tudor Elander Grant. He entered the Harvard School of Dental Medicine in 1868 and graduated in 1870. He then took a position in the Department of Mechanical Dentistry in 1871, making him Harvard University's first African-American faculty member. Grant was a founding member and later the president of the Harvard Odontological Society and was a member of the Harvard Dental Alumni Association where he was elected president in 1881. In 1899, he improved on Percy Ellis' Perfectum T. George Grant, an avid golfer, was also interested in the physics of golfing. He set about to improve the game of golf and as a result he received his first U.S. patent on December 12, 1899 for an improved golf tee. Prior to the invention of Dr. Grant's peg tee, golf tees were little mounds made of mud or sand by the player or the his caddy for the purpose of elevating the ball from the ground for the first shot on each hole. Grant died on August 21, 1910 at his vacation home in Chester, New Hampshire of liver disease.